Good morning. This has been a very long time since I've done this. We have all been um, living a very interesting year. 2020 has been a year for the ages. And I, I, I don't know when the last time is that I've gone live. Um, and I, I am the story of lost over 300,000 people in this country. And if you ask me, that number is inaccurate because I don't think we'll ever really know how many people we've lost to this disease. Um, but over 300,000 people that we know of, um, and all of us in some way have been affected, whether it was a neighbor or a friend, or um, if you're like me, people that you perhaps either went to church with or went to school with, people that I've sung with. Um, and I lost my grandpa and my mother this year. Um, it's been less than two months since I lost my mom. Um, and for almost 30 years, even prior to becoming an artist, I think I was that girl that tried to display always to people um, that I am not unlike you. I'm a girl from the projects of New York City that came um, from a broken home, a single parent home. We were on welfare, food stamps, we were homeless. Um, I have been through some horrible things in my life, rape, just like a lot of you. Um, but I am by no means a victim. I, I don't consider myself a sob story or a sad story. I consider myself always somebody who has the opportunity to rise above because of my faith in God and because he's given me ability in favor, um, which I always try to tell people, you can have that same thing. God has given everybody their one thing at least. Some Many of us have many gifts and talents, but you have at least one thing that is unique to you that God gave you that makes you stand out and you can use that um, to be the thing that rises you up. I decided to go on live today looking a hot mess because um, I finished my first workout since the pandemic started. I have not worked out. I was careful about not doing too much snacking in the beginning. I don't eat a lot of junk food anyway because I'm naturally a big girl. Um, but these last couple of months, uh, six weeks, seven weeks actually to be exact, um, I, it, in my own honesty, I have gotten sloppy with it. I saw the way I looked in my clothes. <laughs> A couple of days ago, and if you were, thank you all who supported um, Love on a Two-Way Street. I saw the way I looked at my clothes on television, and I was not happy with myself. Call it vain, call it whatever you want to call it, but I require more of myself, especially if I consider myself to be an example. First to myself, um, to the people who are around me, and then to those who watch me from a distance. Um I just want to say kudos to everybody who has made it through this year, to every person who has had to struggle and fight to put food on the table, to keep a roof over your head, to keep the lights on, to stay well, to those of you who have respected yourself and others enough to um, follow social distancing um, and, and wash your hands and wear your masks. This thing is very real for all of us, but it's even more real for those of us who have lost someone that we love to it. Um, and I have my moments and I have my days and there are days where I just burst into tears um, when I'm in the house. And then I have my days where I can have great memories and I'm smiling and I'm laughing and I'm doing whatever. But um, A, God didn't bring me this far to leave me. And uh, B, giving up on life at 47 years old when there is so much life left to live um, is not an option. And so I got my butt up this morning and I brushed my teeth and I washed my face and I looked at myself and I said, uh, take it behind upstairs. I have a home gym and get, get it together, get it together. Um, our insides are just as important, if not more important than our outsides. And I just want to be an encouragement to anybody out there who has um, felt like you are hopeless, who has felt like it's not worth it, who's felt like it doesn't matter because I'm not going outside anyway. It doesn't matter because there's there are no concerts to go to. We can't even go to church anymore. You're worth it. You're worth it. You are worth it. Um, and if you desire a long, satisfying, happy, healthy life, you have to first decide 
that you deserve it before anybody else treats you that way or tells you that. If nobody else tells you that, tell yourself that God didn't put you here for no reason and you deserve the best life possible. I'm going to jump off because I smell horrible because <laughs> I went in and I'm very, very proud of myself and I need a shower. <laughs> um, but I do want to say thank you so much for, to all of you for the prayers that you have prayed for my family, for the prayers that you have prayed to me, for me, to God, for me, excuse me. I See what I'm saying? Scrambled. I need food and I need, I need a shower and I need to eat breakfast. Um, I, I, I appreciate it. There's no way I'll ever be able to say thank you directly to each one of you. But this is me saying thank you. I, again, I haven't been live. I've done very limited posting. Um, but I told God I want to live and I want to live well. And if this is a word for you, um, live live, live. You might not have a home gym. Um, most people, um, even when, if they had gym memberships, a lot of people are not going to the gym because, you know, they're afraid of what that might be like. I'm not, I don't know where everybody, every state has a different mandate on that, but take it from a girl who, before she ever owned a piece of gym equipment in her home, used cans of soup and the back of chairs and, and stuff like that for resistance and old school jumping jacks and sit-ups and push-ups and things around the house for resistance. Jogging uh, around the house, jogging in place, jogging around your neighborhood. Get you some cheap, inexpensive weights, wristband weights. Uh, just do what you need to do. Do what you need to do. Your life is worth it. Your time is worth it. Your talent is worth it. Your gifts are worth it. Your career is worth it. Your family is worth it. Your kids are worth it. They need you to be the best you that you can be. Your business is worth it. Um, we have less than, what is today's date? Today is the 15th. We have 16 days of 2020 left and we're not out of the woods. Line in the sand. On the 1st of January, we love that for us to be our line in the sand. We do it every year. But the reality of it is, is, is that the line in the sand is wherever you draw it. So if you decide that today is the day that you draw the line in the sand and your new beginning starts today, or if you draw the line in the sand tomorrow and you decide that your new beginning starts tomorrow, that's when your new beginning starts. It can start five minutes from now. But I just wanted to let you know, do it. You're worth it. Um, it wasn't easy. It's been so long since I've worked out. It's been so long since I've worked out and it was hard and my thighs were burning and my legs were itching and I stink. I need a shower. That's the second time I've said that. So I'm getting off of here, but I just want to send my love and my thanks out to everybody. And I just want to be a word, send a word of encouragement and be a source of encouragement for anybody out there that's feeling any kind of way. I'm right there with you. I've been there all year right there with you trying to deal with it trying to make sense of it some of this will never make sense ever for the rest of our days some some things about what we're dealing with right now will never ever make sense but we're here and if we're still here it's for a reason so maximize your time maximize your days pour into yourself so that you can be here and better for everything and everyone that you love god bless you have an amazing day lying in the sand your new year, it starts when you decide that it starts. I love you guys. Take care. Bye.